London airport, and after a triumphant round of talks in Brussels, the return of Britain's chief negotiator, Mr. Rippon, accompanied by New Zealand's Deputy Prime Minister, Mr. Jack Marshall. For Britain, it was the end of a long 13 months of hard bargaining. We asked Mr. Rippon about his thoughts at the end of the negotiations. Well, it's not absolutely the end of the negotiations. I mean, what we've done is broken the back in the sense we've now dealt, I think, with the majority of the serious difficulties which had to be overcome yeah. before the negotiations could be satisfactorily concluded. But we certainly now have the firm base with the difficulties put on one side and a greater opportunity to explain you know, the yeah. advantages, the positive advantages that would come if we uh, eventually join the enlarged community. Positive advantages for Britain, perhaps, but it's just the beginning of Australian and New Zealand export worries. The six have agreed to allow export from New Zealand to enter Britain duty-free, but the scale must be run down over five years to only 71% of the present level. Now that Britain's been given the green light to join the community by January the 1st, 1973, the question remains, will the British people accept the move? Plymouth and the end of an era with the final departure.